Welcome to the Garland District in Spokane, Washington. Oh, uh, this is a very eclectic, I would say artsy part of town, but nothing catches your eye more than this. The Garland Milk Bottle. The milk bottle is 38 feet tall. It was built in the 1930s and it was originally a retail outlet for dairy merchant Paul Newport. It stayed that way for 40 years and then finally went out of business in 1974, the year I was born by the way. Uh, it then became a secondhand shop selling all sorts of little knickknacks. Now in 1986 though it was converted into an ice cream and desserts parlor and Kali I know you think that's the way it maybe should have stayed. Definitely should have been that. But now it's called Mary Lou's Milk Bottle. It's an old time diner with award winning milkshakes, homemade burgers and sandwiches. Did you say award winning milkshakes? I did. And homemade burgers? Yes. It's time for lunch. We just put in our order. I had to go with the famous burger and amazing milkshake. And what did we just learn about the milkshakes? So they make the ice cream across the street. It's homemade. The homemade ice cream. Like the owners of this place and their son, they make the ice cream for the milkshakes. I cannot wait. What'd you order? A chicken wrap. Going with the chicken wrap. That's a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Kind of messy. Maybe go with the fork? How is it though? Delicious. Oh, the award-winning burger. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these fries. Are you serious? The fry sauce? <laughs> Are you in heaven? I'm in heaven. And then the milkshake? <laughs> wash it all down? <laughs> oh. I never want to leave here. <laughs> After lunch, you got a tip in the milk jug. Well, that was pretty cool and by the way if you can't finish your milkshake and there's a pretty good chance of that because <laughs> it's big and the burger was awesome and big they give you a to-go cup for the milkshake Kali. yeah but as unique as this milk bottle is it's actually not the only one in spokane can you believe that there is another giant milk bottle the benoit milk bottle that you can see off of interstate 90 right there in downtown spokane but guys that milk bottle doesn't have a restaurant yeah no this is the one you want Got milk? Spokane sure does. <laughs> Bye we'll guys. See you later.